What's up everybody, it's Des with Goats. Today we are doing a walkthrough of our new module for G-Milk, uh, including claiming and staking with kids. Uh, so excited uh, about the launch tomorrow. Hopefully this provides some insight and gives you a tutorial of how to do it. All right, so it's very simple. First, you're just gonna go to our normal website, maisondegoat.com. Uh, and as of tomorrow when we launch, you'll see the newly renovated website right here, um, as you see on the screen. Next, you're gonna to wanna to go to staking up in the upper right corner. So click staking uh, and that'll take you here. Uh, my wallet's already connected, but for visual purposes, uh, this is what it would look like uh, if you didn't connect your wallet. Um, so you'll see a connected wallet right here. Go ahead and connect that, approve the MetaMask transaction uh, to connect your wallet. So welcome to Kids Academy where kids are staked to earn G-Milk and goats can claim it. Before staking or claiming, make sure you read our terms and conditions. Uh, please be sure to claim any G-Milk prior to unstaking your kids. And last but not least, goats have the ability uh, to, to claim G-Milk outright, but any goats that have already claimed it will not appear below. And we'll go into that a little bit more. But for now, time for some G-Milk. The way this is set up is it's broken down into two parts, uh, the kids module up top and then the goats module below. So first we'll talk about kids. Um, so here you'll see all your unstaked kids, any kids that appear in your OpenSea wallet that have not yet been staked. Um, so what we're gonna do is you're gonna select the kids that you wanna stake and say we wanna stake two of these kids, select them, press stake, and then you're about to stake two kids, perfect. Let's confirm it and then it'll open up a MetaMask transaction. I'm gonna increase the gas just so that it goes quickly um, for the video purposes, but you can just do normal gas uh, if you'd like. So while that um, confirms, and it should be pretty quick, what's gonna happen is these two goats, oh, wow, very quick, uh, these two kids are gonna get sent to the staking wallet. And why that's important, uh, staking contract, and why that's important uh, is they will disappear from your OpenSea. So don't freak out, they're safe and secure in uh, the, the staking contract, uh, and you're the only person that will be able to pull them out back into your OpenSea wallet. So that's uh, that's how it'll look. Uh, these two will have, or the two that we staked will vanish from your OpenSea wallet. They'll go into here um, and you'll see them. All right, so how do we claim some G-Milk? Or yeah, let's, let's do that first. Um, so you'll see some kids that have been staked here and not for too long, but if you look over here, you'll see all the amount of G-Milk you're able to claim if you used all your kids to claim. However, if you click individually, you'll see the values can be much lower. So these ones have just been recently staked pretty soon. These ones have been staked for a little bit longer. Let's claim some G-Milk there. So you selected your three kids that you wanna claim, press claim. So what it prompts you with is you're about to claim 1,288 G-Milk with 708 G-Milk tax. And so the way tax works is it linearly decreases. Um, it starts at 55% when you stake your, your kids and every hour it goes down 0.04%. So roughly after like 57 days, you'd have technically zero G milk tax on a claim. Uh, but it goes down so you'll always be able to see how much you're being taxed. Um, and then to confirm it, just press confirm. Again, I'm gonna speed up the transaction just to make this go a little bit faster for the video. And here we go. So while we wait for that, uh, like I said, all your state kids will, will be in here. Um, you'll be able to see how much G-Milk they've accrued. And then obviously, once you go to claim it, you'll be able to see the tax. So looks like uh, it was a successful claim. We have a lot less G-Milk to claim now, obviously because of that. Now say you wanted to unstake your kids, maybe for a legacy challenge, something else. Let's take uh, those kids that we just claimed the G-Milk and you can see they don't have much G-Milk to claim anymore. You wanna unstake them. So you're gonna put them back into your wallet uh, that you'd be able to view on OpenSea. Press unstake, then confirm. And again, another transaction here. Uh, we're gonna edit the gas fee. Uh, and this is a, a great reason why we have an optimized contract for kids now. Uh, and it'll be a lot lower gas than it would have been with the previous contract. So uh, transactions in progress. Now you'll see that it appears up at the top, which means it'll be viewable in your OpenSea account. Cool, 
So that is kids staking, unstaking, and claiming. Next, let's go down to the goats claim. So you'll see all your goats here that have not claimed G-Milk. Uh, so if you have a goat that you already claimed G-Milk, uh, it will not appear here. Uh, you can see this test account has quite a few goats, so that's why it took a little bit longer to load. I think there's about 200 goats in here um, and a lot of G-Milk to claim. Uh, the nice part about it is you can individually select the uh, goats you want to claim as well. Um, so say we want to select four goats claim, you're going to claim about 22,000 G-Milk. That is a roughly 5,500 per goat. So you can select as many as you want. You can select them all um, uh, to claim. So let's, let's practice claiming a little bit of G-Milk. So let's take uh, two goats, should be about 11,000. Yep, that's correct. We're going to confirm that, approve the transaction. And you'll see these two goats here will not appear once the um, transaction is confirmed. So once we claim that Gmail, you'll, you will not see uh, these goats appear in the module anymore. All right, and so while we wait for that, and it's pretty quick, uh, which is great, the other feature down below is a claim check. So let me explain why this is very useful. Um, so say you want to buy a goat on OpenSea and you'd like to claim some G-Milk with it. Well, how do we know if that goat has already claimed its G-Milk? Well, it's very simple. You just plug in the token ID from the goat you want to buy on OpenSea. So say it's 1331. Uh, you go to check it. And if it's unclaimed, that means the G-Milk has not been claimed yet. So you're good to buy it, claim your G-Milk uh, and be on your way. Now, if it has already been claimed, it'll show up with a red claimed uh, warning here. So it has already been claimed and you'll not be able to claim G-Milk with it. So that's, a, that's an important thing. <clears throat> now, the tricky part is if you're putting in offers for it. If you're putting WEATH offers in for, let's say, GOAT1331, what could happen is you kind of could get screwed. The person on OpenSea could go then and claim their G-Milk and then accept your offer in which you would not be able to claim G-Milk. So it's important if you're buying with the purpose uh, uh, of claiming G-Milk that you buy it outright, you don't put a WEATH offer in because uh, you can get screwed that way. <clears throat> and like I said, uh, those two goats that we just claimed G-Milk from uh, are no longer here. So then you have a new revised amount of total amount of G-Milk you can claim from your goats. You now know how to use the claim check uh, to check whether uh, a goat has already claimed its G-Milk or not and be, you know, be sure about what you're buying on OpenSea. And then we also talked about you know, the kids uh, staking and unstaking and claiming. So that wraps it up. We're going to be delivering a lot uh, of different content and walkthroughs and tips and tricks uh, over the next couple days. Uh, but hopefully this answers a lot of your questions on how staking, unstaking, claiming, and, uh, and everything will be done. All right, that's it for us. Thank you so much and look forward to tomorrow's launch.